Las Cruces resident Anita Allen says a recall petitioner who came to her door told her that the government was trying to close a youth boxing center, but the petition was not to save the center. I said, may I see the petition? And she showed it to me and it clearly said that it was a recall pe petition for my council member Olga Pedrosa. So, I said, that isn't what it is. It's a recall petition. Why did you say it was the other thing? And she said, well, that's what they're planning on doing. And, and, and I said, and you're lying. I said, you're trying to deceive me and I don't appreciate it and take your petition and go elsewhere. Las Cruces spokesperson Udelvi Hill says the city heard from several people about the allegations of misrepresentation. We received 10 phone calls, two letters, and several emails. But what's important to note is any violations or alleged violations of election laws are on the state level. The city doesn't have jurisdiction to prosecute or do anything about it. We are bound by the municipal code, so it's basically city ordinance. But we do know that the state police is aware of alleged complaints and that the district attorney's office is aware of alleged complaints. Over 750 people contacted the city requesting their names be removed from the petition. But the city was unable to say how many of those people requested their names be removed because they felt that they were misled. City councilor and attorney Olga Pedroza says she heard the allegations from many people and the allegations should be investigated. My opinion is that yeah they should be prosecuted because as I understand um, that kind of misrepresentation, if it's serious enough, is a fourth degree felony. And I think that uh, it was very open. They did it. They never stopped. You know, they did it without any remorse. They kept doing it, coming up with a different lie each time. And so that just doesn't sound to me like something that should be allowed to continue. Samantha Barncastle, legal counsel for the group New Mexicans for a Better Tomorrow, says petition circulators were trained on what to say when going door to door and says she hasn't seen any evidence of fraud. I'm not real sure that there are real issues of fraud out there. Nobody has so far come forward and actually proven any real fraud. There have been complaints made and state police, as far as I'm aware, has looked into those and found that there is no evidence to support actual fraud. New Mexico State Police confirmed they are investigating the allegations, but cannot comment on an ongoing investigation. Sergeant Elizabeth Armijo said in an email, quote, because there is a large scope of information to look into, it's going to be a process and take some time. Counselor Pedroza says she heard petitioners told residents a recall would keep her in office and says that is evidence of fraud. I certainly think that doing the opposite, saying recall means bring her back when actually recall means kick her out. <laughs> it seems to me very serious misrepresentation. Um, and that was uh, frequent enough that I believe there were like 200 and more than 250 people in my district who signed and said, hey, wait a minute, that's not why I signed. I don't want to do that. take my name off of that petition. KRWG also spoke with Susan Lindemann, who alleged misrepresentation. He said the government wanted to close down some very worthwhile uh, social centers and then proceeded to tell me which ones and what they were doing and why they were worthwhile to keep open. At this time, it's unclear if anyone will be prosecuted, something Councillor Pedroza supports. But she adds she doesn't want any, quote, kids to be prosecuted. For KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.